All right, so we're gonna do now a video of something I normally wouldn't do until these corporations like to just not give a rat's shit about your rights as a consumer or anything like that. And with Sony and people like Nintendo thinking that you don't own your, your own stuff, I figure, you know, we have here a J. Mockin hard drive, fairly discreetly packaged, because it doesn't say anything about it on it. It's just a hard drive. And I actually think it looks really cool. But it came today, I think, or yesterday. It was in the mail. And this is really it. I actually like the look of it. But that's it. It's a, I believe, 500 gigabyte hard drive. And it includes lots of things that Sony and Nintendo hate. Mostly Nintendo, because it's mostly emulation and stuff like that. It also includes certain games that Nintendo hates on it. And we will open this up, maybe. We get it. I don't know what the point of even opening it is, other than to open it and take the plastic off and here it is this is the hard drive I believe this is just a case that you can take the hard drive out of so you probably put a pin in here or something and eject it so it's probably just a regular let's see if this pops off maybe and I think you need a, a pin or something but anyways it comes with a cable here uh, USB A cable to hook up to your device, and now we will be changing locations because right now I'm actually watching after my family's house. I just came by here to grab this package, as well as another one that wasn't here, even though it said it was. Um, so we will be taking this on over to my family's house that they went away on vacation and we will be trying it out hopefully on I don't know I gotta figure out how I'm gonna try actually I gotta take this tripod with me because we're a smaller one maybe I can get a smaller one but we'll be hopefully trying it out on their OLED TV with my uh, Lenovo Legion Go so there we go so no more not purchasing these out of some kind of you know concern that I would might that I might have I don't care anymore there you go let's head on over all right here we are with the contents of the devices uh, I could not actually find a tripod so I'm gonna have to screen record um, but these this is the contents of the device uh, or the hard drive this is an install folder. It tells you to install. It basically is a bunch of DirectX stuff. You can go online and get that. I normally just go get a go to Nine Night, and they set up a package with all the stuff you need to install, including DirectX and all this other stuff. So if you're missing anything, including things like Seven Zip or whatever, you can actually download that and install it. So if you don't feel comfortable installing this or if you already have this you don't have to install it um okay now this comes with two folders one is retro bat the other is play night and a manual that tells you how to do how to use it uh if you go into retro bat you have this is an outdated version of retro bat but it, it works <laughs> um so we're gonna launch into retro bat I think I'm gonna try to mute uh, Retrobat just so you can hear me. I'm using the mic on. Uh... Okay, I'm using the mic on uh, the device itself. So this is how it boots up. Um. So you can see this is what it looks like. These are the games it has. It has Wii. We have on here 
couple Switch games. So this is the one thing I wanted to show. <laughs> there you go. You got Crash Insane Trilogy. Uh, you got Crash Team Racing. So these games are already on PC. And, uh, yeah. So, but we have Mario Odyssey, Link's Awakening, No Breath of the Wild, or Tears of the Kingdom, unfortunately. You know. Then we have a Thomas Wave. Um, so we got all these games. We have Dolphin Blue. And this is not, you know, the hard drive, it depends on what system that you're actually plugging it into, whether it can play it or not. So if you don't have a powerful enough system, you may not be able to play some of these systems. So, of course, we have Genesis Game Gear. A lot of these are full ROM sets, especially the smaller ones. The bigger games are going to be um, less games, you know, the bigger systems, you know. Uh, so all the 32X stuff, Game Gear, Genesis is going to be full ROM sets. Didn't really notice. Let me double check. I don't think there's a lot of duplicates or anything. But yeah, it seems like they're, the ROM sets are good. They're kind of clean here. So you don't have to worry about not having or having to sift through a bunch of, uh, you know, duplicates. So, Game Gear. This is an out. This is Botocera Retrobat. I'm sorry. I'm, they they look. They're very similar, but Retrobat. This is for Windows, and uh, this is V5.3.0 stable. It is not the latest uh, version of Retrobat. I don't know if this will upgrade. I will test that. Uh, my fear is that it would actually break the build. Uh, but I will test it. <laughs> so then we have Sega Saturn in here. So we have go down this list of games: Nights Christmas, Nights into Dreams. Really cool. No, no regular Nights into Dreams for some reason. Um, Daytona USA. Um, Dragon, Dragon something, Dragon Force. We have Guardian. Uh, uh, what you call it? Uh, Guardian Heroes. A lot of Mega Man stuff. Uh, Mortal Kombat Trilogy on the PlayStation for some reason. Uh, Panzer Dragon uh, 2. Quake. Radiant Silver Gun. Rayman. Resident Evil. Yeah, Shining Force 3. Yeah, Sonic Jam, Sonic Riders. Sonic R, whatever it's called. Uh, yeah, a lot of Street Fighter stuff, the original House of the Dead, Thunder Force 5, Virtual Fighter 2, Virtual Fighter Remix, Wipeout, uh, and there we are. We go to Dreamcast, and we have, uh, yeah, so quite a few good games here. Capcom vs. SNK 2, uh, Crazy Taxi. Yeah, all these games. Uh, what is this? Ikaruga? Yeah, Ikaruga. Um, yeah, so Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, Marvel vs. Capcom. Yeah, a lot of really good Dreamcast games on here. Um, then we have Naomi, which is basically Dreamcast. As an arcade, um, and we have all these arcade ports. Um, Crazy Taxi is on here. Uh, not all this is scraped, some of it is um, just pictures, some of it's uh, video. I mean, sorry, not all of it has video, some of it does, some of it doesn't. Um, we have all these, these uh, Giggling 2 is awesome. Definitely recommend playing Giggling 2 if you like uh, shmups. And Giggling 1. And we have the original arcade, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Um, House of the Damned. 
I don't know. <laughs> and, um, ninja salt. Yeah. Power stone. Power stone 2. Project Justice. A lot of weird stuff. <laughs> it's, I believe this is just like a full ROM set. Of uh, Naomi Games. We have Neo Geo. I believe it's everything. So. I think for the ones that you have. Like the entire ROM set. And it's a decent sized ROM set. You won't have video snaps. But uh, the games are here. So all you care about is the games. The games are there. Then we have Neo Geo Pocket. Uh, so, Neo Geo Pocket, Neo Geo Pocket Color. We have PlayStation. Let's go through this because this is a little bigger, so it's probably going to be a little more tailored or a little more focused. And, uh, you know, so far, having a little hard time reading some of these things on the side there, but it does say it on the, the bottom uh, left. It does tell you what game it is. You know, you have Crash Bandicoot games. You also have the, is it the trilogy on the Switch? By the way, it's available on, it's better on the PC version. Uh, definitely recommend picking that one up. Opposed to playing, emulating the Switch version, but. You know, you have some games in here. You got Final Fantasy games, Chrono Trigger. Uh. Grand Theft Auto 1, Medieval, Mega Man, Mega Man 2, Need for Speed, V Rally, Need for Speed 2, no, no track in uh, field, I uh, used to play that, uh, track of Need for Speed, what's that called, what, what is called, that? <laughs> we got uh, a lot of Resident Evil on here, Silent Hill, Alpha, uh, uh, bleh, Street Fighter Alpha 3. Yeah. So. A lot of PlayStation games on here. Um. Yep. There's quite a few games. And now we're back to the beginning. Uh, that was, uh, there are 47 PlayStation 1 games. We got PS2. Uh, so we have Black. Awesome game. Burnout, Burnout 2, Burnout 3, no Burnout Revenge. I don't know why. No Burnout Revenge. Tom McCray Rally 3. Hit to rights. Uh, just as a uh, some kind of warning, you, you know, you may find some kind of like X rated type games in some of these. Uh, like the meme and stuff like that with the huge lists of games, you may end up finding some kind of X-rated shit in here. So if you're looking to get this for like a child or something, I don't know why you would. It's old, old games, but maybe you would. Um, they do have sometimes. I haven't seen anything, but they do sometimes have that stuff in there. Um, so we have Grand Theft Auto, Vice City Stories. Also remember if you. If you have good enough internet and storage device and a storage device to put it on, you can download pre-made builds. Um, and of course, you can always set your own up. Just want to point that out. You don't actually have to buy the stuff. Oh, I'm apparently playing a game by accident. <laughs> okay, let me get out of here. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to buy, if you want something like this, you can actually download it. But if you don't have the internet, you know, this would be an option. And I don't have any problems with people getting hold of emulators and ROMs. And that's that. However they need to do it. Especially with people like Nintendo attacking. So we have Jack and Daxter. <laughs> I've just been scrolling through all this. and Oh, another thing with this, with the PlayStation 2... If you want the PlayStation 2 to actually read your controls, you may have to go in to hit select, go to advanced system options, and then I actually had to turn auto configure controllers on or else it did not read my controls. So that was, Jesus Christ. 
All right, let's try it back out again. All right. And like I said, the performance of these uh, depends on what you're playing it on. If you're playing it on, say, the ROG Ally, the Steam Deck, or any of those handhelds, it should work fine. Except the MSI Claw, apparently. that that You'll need a, a fire extinguisher by you in order to play something like this, just in case you don't want to burn your freaking house down. So, other than that, we got Shadow Colossus, Soul Calibur 2, I believe this includes Kratos. Uh, so you can play as the God of War in this version. And of course you have the, I don't know if you have the GameCube version, but that one you can be Link. That's my favorite version. Yes, uh, oh, look, Battlefront. Yeah, that, that new one came out. That, 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 that's that been going well. <laughs> well, hopefully it actually shapes, ships up and stuff. I'd like to play that online, but I'm not uh, not rushing out to buy that broken thing. Uh, then we have Beautiful Joe and uh, Virtual Fighter 4, uh, this game, and we're back. So those are the PlayStation 2 games. The PSP, there's a lot of, like, mini stuff, and oh, uh, there we have one that's not actually scraped at all, but, um... Yeah, so these are the games on here. There are some bigger games. We got Castlevania, um, Dracula X Chronicles. Um, a lot of stuff I don't really know of, but this guy, uh, what is that? Uh, got some Dragon Ball stuff, Dynasty Warriors, Ragged, whatever. <laughs> FIFA, got Final Fantasy, Street Race. Oh, this is like a, uh, this looks like a duplicate here. I don't know what's going on with this, if there's a reason for that, but you got God of War, uh, Chains of Olympus, uh, Ghost of Sparta, a lot of uh, Grand Theft Auto, you got Chinatown Wars. You got Liberty City, Liberty City Stories and Vice City Stories on there. Those are cool. Got Harvest Moon games. A lot of stuff on here. I'm gonna go through it. I don't want to spend a million years doing this, but you know, there's, you can look at this stuff or type games and real fishing. <laughs> Samurai Warriors. Sonic Rivals. Battlefront 2. Tekken 6. Yeah. There's also uh, space on here. There's room on the hard drive for more games, so you don't have to delete stuff to get better, more games. You can wipe out pure. Um, and that's that. Then we have PS3. There's not a lot of PS3 on here, but there's something. Uh, we have Catherine. Uh, God of War, uh, the collection, so God of War 1 and 2, uh, and The Wolf Among Us, and that's really it for PlayStation 3. Um, one thing we'll point out for the Switch, you do have to open up the emulator and configure the controls. Um, yeah. So you got your favorites, you got that, we have Amstrad is on here, these are gonna be full ROM sets, I believe. I'm not sure about Amstrad. I don't know what their catalog is. Um, I have no clue what that, what the catalog like that is like that. But whatever. Final Burn Neo, Mame. Um, there's gonna be like tons of games on here for Mame. And you got Mortal. The only thing that's missing is Mortal Kombat One that I noticed. I don't know about Killer Instinct. Let's look for Killer Instinct. Um, see if that is available. That's an important one for a lot of people. Uh, let's see. No. No killer instinct. Um, 
your stats. But yeah, you do have Mortal Kombat 2 and 3. I'm not sure about Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. I don't want to sit here searching for everything, but... You know, you get, you get the, a good ROM set here. Altered Beast. All these different games. I'm trying them, they work. Alright, so... You get your full ROM sets here. You got Jaguar games, so more than likely a full ROM set. Let's see. Yeah, that's basically a full ROM set for the Jaguar. I don't even know what this is, but there's over 2,000 games here. Um, if, it's, if, if you need more room, I mean, I don't know. I've never heard of this, so you might be able to delete that. I don't know if it really takes up any space. You got Wonder Swan, assuming that's a full library. For Wonder Swan, Wonder Swan Color, ColecoVision, Turbo Graphics, Game and Watch, fifty nine games, NES games, full full ROM set. Looking here and see if we check for duplicates or anything like that. And so far, it's looking okay. There's Game Boy. There's probably enough room on this uh, hard drive to actually scrape a lot of these and get video snaps. But you don't have them here. Um, so you have Super Nintendo. By the way, this hard drive practically costs the same as a, a, a blank hard drive. Like a regular just hard drive. So this is on AliExpress. And so you're technically just getting... Even if you didn't want the build, you can just get a hard drive. You can... You could uh, clear out the hard drive and, and do your own thing with it. So, Super Game Boy, which is basically just Game Boy, and then you launch it into Super Game Boy things. Yeah. Uh, N64. We got a lot of what we have for N64. Oh, yeah, the whole ROM set for N64. Um, Game Boy Color. GameCube. Let's check GameCube. We have Cave Race. We have, let's see. We have Soul Calibur Q. That's my favorite version with Link. Yep, we got that. You can be Link. The only Soul Calibur where I don't choose uh, Sophichia. Uh, or am I thinking? Yeah, Sophichia. Uh, here we got Star Wars. Yeah, Star Fox Adventures. Wave Race, 1080 Snowboarding, I think that's really it. Yeah, so we got 20, what is it, 26, it's hard to see, I'm looking at it, even though the uh, Lenovo Legion Go screen is fairly large, it's still hard to see that. And we got well over 2,000 Game Boy Advance games, and we start to see some duplicates, yeah. So with Game Boy Advance, I am seeing a lot of duplicates. So this is a uh, this ROM set could have been done a little better. So yeah, it's just a complete ROM dump thrown on there. So you could probably replace the Game Boy Advance collection to free up some space if you wanted to. But if you don't care, you could just play. Okay, we have Phantom Hour of Us. These are all DS games. Do we have a full DS? I don't know how many. I don't think it only had 72 games. But there's 72 games on here for the DS. We have, you know, in Grand Theft Auto Chinatown. Kirby Superstar. Mario. Uh, Mario. We got Mario Kart DS. New Super Mario Brothers. And all these Pokemon games. Are these? No, that's not. Okay. <laughs> Looking for duplicates. Thought I saw duplicates, but Alright, so now let's look into the Nintendo Wii. And this only has one game. It's Donkey Kong Country Returns. Great game. But there are other games in the Wii's library that uh, would have been nice for them to add, especially because there's actually let me see how much 
room is available here. We have, oh, it's 95% full. You could squeeze a little more in there. <laughs> I thought there was more. Hey, hey, hey let's go back. <laughs> what just happened? So we go to the Wii U, and we only have two games. We have Mario Kart 8. I don't know why then just go with the Switch version. Uh, and then we have Wind Waker HD. And we have, this is uh, enhanced sound for the SNES. How many of these games do we have? We have 13. So you get these games with some enhanced, like CD quality audio. Um, and then we're back to Switch. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, that's that. Let's look at the... Let's look at what themes are included other than this one, which is the stock um, theme. Art clicks. You can always download more themes. Uh, Botocera Reloaded. This is the other theme that it comes with. Ah! It's getting a little laggy in here, but... It, Let's see if I can just... Okay. Alright, so then there's just the stock theme is the other theme, I believe. Carbon. Which is this one. Oh, it's just launching things. Because it's having fun or something. I don't know. There's that theme. And that's basically it. Go back here. Let's see. Do we have? Uh, yeah, there's no, uh, there's no support for. Oh, it, it, okay. By default, it's uh, showing the United States versions of things. Uh, and let's see about updating this. Can we update? It says you're cur up. Oh. <laughs> I accidentally hit a button. I got to put the controller down. You're currently using 5.3.0. Do you wish to update to version 6.6 uh, 6.0.0 stable? I'm gonna hit no because I don't know if it's gonna screw it up, but. It does offer the upgrade, um, but yeah, this is how it is out of the box, and uh, yeah, that is available on AliExpress. I forget how much I paid for it. Let me look. Um, I have to actually check AliExpress with my order. And let's say I thought it wasn't going to load. It cost. Oh, actually, it's more than I thought it was. Oh, with shipping and everything, it was $39. So actually, it's a little bit more than I thought. I thought it was like 32 with everything, but it's actually 40 Um. Anyways. That is the gist of things, and uh, like I said, this is an option. So is like coin ops. Look into coin ops. Uh, is really good. Uh, come, you can download it and have a build on your PC. But if you don't have internet, you don't have good internet. This is another option. And uh, thanks for watching.